Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're checking out this Sultic H8 round facer here from Max Factory. This is a part of their 172nd scale line of Dugger model kits, which I've been a huge fan of. I've really enjoyed this series of model kits so far. So I'm really looking forward to taking a look at the round facer here for today's video. Let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll start off just taking a look around the box here and then we'll get into the contents inside. But some really awesome artwork here for the box art as usual for this line. Beautiful details and painting here for the front artwork. There you can see a few units here, complete with some weathering and markings and everything else on there and a couple of units there in the background being carried in by these aircraft, so really cool. And as you can see here on the ends of the box, it's not a very thick box, so it's not gonna be a ton of stuff inside here. This is number zero two in the line. Got a few more vertical images over here on this side where we got a detail image of the cockpit there with the opening canopy there for the round face. And then a couple of larger images there of how the kit is gonna look when it's all painted up there like so. A few more images here on the other side of the box are going to show off some of the points of articulation and weapons that we have included here, basically just the one rifle. And we got these markings that should be included in there as well. And here's a look at how the kit is going to look just snap bill straight out of the box with the markings on it, completely unpainted, just so you can have an idea of how that's gonna look. But that's what we're gonna be checking out here for today's video as well. So we'll get into all of the runners here in just a moment. Here's those decals. Well, it looks like a really nice set of water slide marking decals here for this kit, even for inside the cockpit there. So that looks really nice. We got red, yellow, white, and black for the colors there, it looks like. And our instruction manual feels pretty hefty here, but I can assume that in typical Max Factory fashion, it's gonna be all in full color. On the back side, we've got our parts list there. And on the inside, some really nice line art. So if you wanted to try out like a custom color scheme or something, take a photo or a scan of that, put it into the computer and you can test out some color schemes there in Photoshop. I always like that they include line art there in the manual. So really nice to have that. And then we're just on into the construction. Like I said, it is in full color, except for the actual parts. So the parts are just uh, in just obviously just line art there as well. Some more photos and images here on the center fold anyway. And it looks like we got some images from the anime as well as more images here of the kit carrying container there for example uh, so some really cool stuff to be included here talking about some of the points of articulation and details and stuff like that so that's nice to have that there on the center pages and we're back to the construction and at the very last page here is going to be our color and marking guides so the colors including the colors for the pilot are down there and there's where all the markings are going to go around on the kit very nice let's check out the runners and first up here, we've got some polycaps, quite a few of them, two of this PC-1 runner there, all in black, and then one of this PC-2 runner here as well. And then runners A, B, C, and D are all gonna be here in our main green color, which doesn't look quite as nice as the painted sample, I will say, so it's definitely going to look nice once this is painted. There's runner A and a B here. Runner C, we have two of, that's some parts there for the arms and the legs. And then runner D here looks like mostly some weapons parts there as well. Runner E is in a very interesting, slightly pinkish off-white color, which is a little bit odd. But there is, this is gonna be for our sort of like off-white accent colors and there's our pilot character figure there as well. Runner F is gonna be here in a kind of green-gray color there. Runner G is in a sort of brownish red color, so a very interesting color scheme so far. And lastly, Runner H is gonna be our clear part there for the canopy, which does look really nice. I hope you can see through the camera how it's kind of like obscuring what you can see through there, of course, just because it's a rounded part. And then also how it has this pre-printed sort of white or silver kind of lining around that, so you don't have to worry about uh, lining that yourself, which is really nice, so really cool. All right, guys, and here is the round facer all built up with a round face here, of course. Now, I did, in fact, happen to lose a piece for the clear part in the head, and I'll show you guys some more about that here in just a second. But overall, really, really nice kit here, just like with the rest of the kits in the line so far. Very simplistic in the construction, but the finished result here uh, is really quite nice with some nice details around on this, some nice articulation, as you'll see here in just a moment. Not necessarily a ton of accessories, but we do have a couple of nice accessories with this one as well. So for a fairly simple model kit here, 
here it is a really nice one if you guys are fans of this design so let's go ahead and take a closer look at everything that we've got included with the kit all right first up for our hand options here we've got a set of closed fists right there on the kit and then we've got a nice set of open hands here as well for the left and the right side and then we've got a set of simple holding hands here for our weapon and we really only have the one single handheld weapon that's going to be the rifle here which is certainly very simple and it's going to have some seam lines on there as you can see but this is going to just to fit in the hand like that now no extended i mean the trigger finger i guess looks like slightly extended there but not really all that much and then the secondary handle will fold off to the side there like that where you can use your left hand on there like so and now the question is going to be how well is it actually able to pull off that pose because sometimes the articulation kind of gets in the way from doing a, a two-handed grip on a kit like this but just real quick to finish up on the note of the accessories we have the missile launcher here on the one side you do have a second one to put on the other side if you so choose but that's just going to be in the slot right there where you have that piece just kind of filling that gap if you wanted to have both of those missile launchers off you do have a little plug piece right here to put in place of this side as well to if you wanted to so you can have your options there now where i unfortunately lost a piece for this kit is the clear part that goes in this little camera bit here in the top of the head and now that also makes it so that this part won't really stay in there so i'll have to glue this in later because the clear part is kind of what holds it in place i'll have to just go ahead and glue that and possibly just scratch build just with some clear piece of runner or something just scratch build some little clear part to go in there otherwise i mean honestly not really that great of a loss all things considered but just do keep in mind that uh, be careful not to lose any parts anyway the canopy here on the front of course opens up like so and you got some nice detail up inside of there the pilot figure isn't actually plugged in anything the manual lets you know to go ahead and glue that in place i do kind of wish that there was like a plug to be able to just plug it onto there just so that maybe if you weren't ready to glue it quite yet but you did want it to actually just stay in place and not be rattling around you could actually just plug it in there but as it is it's just going to be resting down inside of there but taking a look at some other points of articulation here the head will be able to move up and down slightly and then we can rotate that here as well here in the midsection you do have a little bit of a forward and back bend here in the torso as well but again it's pretty slight you have rotation there at the midsection the shoulders these will swing to the front pretty far there like that these uh, shoulder armor pieces are also on tiny little ball joints you can kind of move those around a little bit as needed but not really going to be too much to do with those you guess you could move that out of the way a little bit to be able to bring the arm up a little bit higher to about 90 degrees there like that whereas otherwise this armor piece would be kind of getting in the way the arm is going to rotate at the bicep and also rotate at the forearm here as well we have a single joint there in the elbow which is going to be somewhat limiting you're really only going to be able to get about 90 degrees out of that and then the wrist is just on a ball joint here so a little bit limited there in the arm articulation the skirt armor will also be able to move individually here on the front side and then going around here to the back skirt that is just going to be fixed in place there like that you'll notice we also got seam lines here on the thighs on the lower part of the leg here as well under the knee armor there on the front also we're going to be able to bring the leg up to the front to about 90 degrees to the body we do have a double joint here in the knee but it's still not going to give you really too full of a bend but it's more than 90 degrees so pretty good there for the knee bend and the ankle is going to be able to move side to side as well as front and back there and then up underneath the feet some nice detail there as well as for the two-handed grip on the rifle you're able to pull it off but it's not really going to be looking like that great i would recommend just sticking with maybe just a one-handed grip on the rifle but anyway as for this kit overall there's certainly some pros and cons i think it's a pretty nice kit it's not quite as nice as the couple of get truth kits that i've taken a look at the dugram and the bigfoot for example part of the version GT or the version get truth like sort of line there from Max Factory as well this one doesn't have quite as much detail to it and so it's pretty plain overall but I think it is going to look nice once you go ahead and just kind of fix up the seam lines and then give it a nice paint job it's one that's definitely going to shine through the paint job that you give it because just straight out of the box it is going to be pretty plain but it is certainly an interesting and unique design so if that's what you're looking for this is definitely a kit that i can recommend to you guys uh, but i would maybe also recommend checking out the version gt dogram or bigfoot kits maybe first and then there is also the new uh, version of it's like a big massive dogram kit that's going to be coming out from max factory as well that i think is going to be out actually pretty soon so really looking forward to taking a look at that kit but for the time being here the saltic's a pretty fun kit it is going to be 
be definitely a little bit limited in its articulation as to the poses that you can do with it, but there is some nice options with the missile launchers on the back. Whether you want to not have the missile launchers on the back at all, or if you want to have one on the left, or just one on the right, or if you want to have both on there, it's nice to have some options there. And while it's a shame that I lost that clear piece for in the head, the clear canopy piece is really, really nice and certainly a nice point of interest there. And it's nice that you have the lining around that already pre-painted for you. So that's certainly gonna make it uh, easier as that's a piece that you're just not really gonna have to worry about doing anything with. You can you know, have your fun painting the whole rest of the kit and then just go ahead and just put that piece in there at the very end and it'll look really, really good. So overall, not necessarily a kit that I would recommend to everyone, but if this is something that looks interesting to you, I would say go ahead and check it out. And if you guys do have any other further questions or comments about the kit, do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below as well. Let me know what you guys think about the round facer here. And if you guys wanna check out some more Dugram kits or more kits from Max Factory or more awesome mecha models, you can check the link in the video description to us at Gundam Store there as well. We've got all sorts of great stuff there for you guys to check out as well as paints, tools, and supplies as well so check out that link and as always guys if you wouldn't mind leaving a like making sure that you're subscribed as well while you're here i really appreciate all your support thank you so much till next time have a great day guys see y'all later Bye bye